Roald Dahl is one of the UK's most popular authors of children's books, selling more than 250 million copies worldwide. But last week, his publisher announced it would amend his novels to make them more suitable for modern audiences. They say that while many of the words are, as the author would put it himself, gobblefunk, some of the language needed updating for modern readers. But that decision sparked a fierce debate. Now, the publishers say they'll continue printing his books in their original form after all. Well, with me in the studio to discuss this is our reporter Sophia Batitza, who's had her head down in Roald Dahl books all day. Uh, Sophia, <laughs> what more do we need to know about this? So Roald Dahl wrote lots of books that are beloved by so many people, such as Matilda, the BFG, The Witches, but there's a growing trend for book publishers to use sensitivity readers. So what they do is they go through books and they identify elements that could be offensive, such as violence, race, gender, and that's what they did with his books. So about a week ago, Roald Dahl's book publisher said that they had updated a bunch of his novels so they would be more suitable for a modern audience. And so some of the people who were critical about this move say that one of the attractions about Roald Dahl as an author is his exciting use of language, whether it's made up words like gobblefunk or whether it's really descriptive language that just engages children. So what were some of the words that the publishers wanted to change? So they removed the references to the characters' weight and appearances. For example, in the book The Twits, Mrs. Twit, who's the lead female character, is no longer called ugly. Um, in Child in the Child Chocolate Factory, uh, Augustus Gloop is enormous rather than fat. And uh, the word Oompa Loompas, for example, is now gender neutral. And so why this big U-turn then? It's because of all the criticism that they received. You know, some people welcomed the changes, but many people didn't. And they felt very strongly about it. They called this censorship. And they said that it's precisely, you know, the gruesome and the nasty elements of the books that make them so fun and so popular with children. So after about a week of fierce debate, the publisher made a U-turn and said that they were going to publish both versions and give readers the choice. They could stick with the original or buy the new re-edited books. And Sophia, I have to ask you, while you're here, what's your favourite Roald Dahl book? <laughs> um, that have to be the BFG, because the main character is called Sophia. OK. More of a witch's man for me, but uh, each to their own. OK, Sophia, thank you very much. <laughs> Now, 